Hi, my name is Kitty, and today I'm going to talk to you about the DJI OM5. Let's turn this on, shall we? Today I'm going to discuss with you what's in the box, the features, the build, but first let's look at some test footage that we shot. Roll the clip. What's in the box? First you have your gimbal folded up all nicely and compact. You have your tripod, you have a magnetic phone holder, it also comes with a case, a wrist strap, a charging cable that's USB-C, and also a thin phone accessory, and some pamphlets. The build of this beautiful beast, there's two different colors. This one's called Athens Gray. It also comes in another color that's kind of like a pinkish white called Sunset White. It's very compact, let me show you. So you can just take that off. And when you fold it down, it's pretty much the same size as the tripod that it comes in, which is really crazy. And then here's the magnetic phone holder. This is something that also came with the OM4. And let's listen to that snap. It's sturdy. I have a Pixel 6 Pro, which is really big, and I am not worried about this thing falling off of it. Not only is the build really nice, but I really like the ergonomics on this. DJI does make some pretty good gimbals. They've thought of everything. There's like a little crevice here for your index finger to hold it really nicely. And I feel like all the weight goes into this section. And then if you need to like push the trigger here, you can get to it really, really easily. Let me explain some of the button features here. The power button is here. It's also the M button. So when you're in the DJI MIMO app, which we'll get to a little bit later, this will switch between video and photo mode. You can also trigger the record button here with the shutter button or also take pictures. This button is cool. So if you record YouTubes, for instance, double tap, and you could get into a 16 by nine ratio. You wanna record some TikToks or IG reels? vertical mode and you don't have to remove or move anything or even touch your phone. So the trigger here, it'll recenter the gimbal. If you hold it, it'll be in lock mode. So if you turn your hand, it won't move. And then if you triple tap, it'll get into sport mode. And then this little dial here will zoom in and out for you. And you have the joystick to move it up and down, left and right. You could also turn it in inverted mode to get some really low angle shots. And then lastly, something the OM4 did not have is this extension rod. I had a lot of fun with this. I was getting some really cool low angles, which was nice because I didn't have to like bend over too far. I also got some cool shots like through the trees and like some like fake drone shots is what I called it, some jib shots, all with this little gimbal. And there you have it for the build and the buttons. The DJI MIMO app, you can download it by scanning the QR code on the box or just searching it up. Here we are in the system, make sure you're connected via Bluetooth. And up top, you hit the camera button and you will access all the fun features and there's a plethora of features. I think the first most interesting one is a feature called shot guides and you can see various scenes from park to beach to city. So it shows you example shots that they already took and you just implement and create your own version of this. It'll show you how to hold the gimbal, how to angle it, and all you do is push record. And then you can collect a couple of these shots and it'll create a sequence for you. It'll edit it for you. It'll put music on for you. And you could also change different editing templates and aesthetics and export it and it's already done. Conveniently, there's one called Picnic. So I recorded my own version of my picnic, but I also recorded a shot guides version too, which I'll play right now.
Other features are included are dino zoom, so it's kind of like a dolly zoom. I also played with panos. They have this cool feature called Clone Me Pano, which will take three different images of you and stitch it together. So it looks like there's three of you in the one image without any Photoshop needed. Here's just the regular pano, which is great if you want to get this like ultra wide lens look. So for gestures, it's great if you're shooting by yourself or you're a little far away from your phone and you want to trigger the shutter. And you can record yourself from far away, either with a high five or a peace sign whichever one you choose. Another feature on here, which is pretty interesting, is this like beauty filter, if you wanna play with those. There's also an AI editor, if you go to home screen, over here you'll see AI editor here, and you could select your clips, it'll also edit it for you, kind of like how Shot Guides does it too. There's other features on the DJI Mimo app as well, like time lapse, you can also do hyperlapse. Lots to play with there for sure. Not only is the hardware with DJI gimbals pretty cool, but also the software is on point as well. So who is this gimbal for? Obviously, the go-to would be travelers. This is really easy to pack up in your backpack. It's great for people who are mobile shooters, who don't have a camera. It's also great for people who are just starting out on mobile photography or videography and they wanna up their production value with a little bit of camera movement or they don't wanna carry like extra tripods and a gimbal and a selfie stick. This is an all-in-one situation. And what do I like most about it? I love the gestures and the active track on the DJI Mimo app. I also love this extension rod because when I was shooting my picnic sequence, I was getting really cool like drone shots, some jib shots. I got some like really low angles because you could flip it upside down like so. I had a lot of fun shooting through stuff with some foreground and going in and out because of this extension rod. I also turned on active track with certain things like Brian's hand and his watch when he was walking up to the picnic. It was holding onto that position really, really well. So you don't have to use active track just for people's faces. You can use them for objects and keeping them in frame also. And lastly, I love this magnetic phone holder because I can take it off really easily and I just love the snap sound. It's just so fun. There you have it, it's a DJI OM5. I can't wait to see what you make.